All right, wanted to do this video and we're you know just giving my reaction to the whole uh, passing away of Betty White, this uh, prominent Hollywood celebrity, and the fact that you know she is in hell right now, and I get no joy out of saying that, but it is the reality of it. Uh, she, she professed to be a Christian, but it's just a blunt fact, a blunt and brutal reality out there, a blunt, a blunt and brutal fact that no Christian or even just anybody who holds any kind of socially conservative viewpoints gets of any kind of prominence in Hollywood because Hollywood is a cesspool for social liberal degeneracy. You know, even back in the 1920s, they were promoting all kinds of immoral smut and garbage. And even just from a Slavic nationalist, because I do consider myself to be a Slavic nationalist, even just from a Slavic nationalist standpoint, you know, Hollywood is not something I could support because a lot of what they support and endorse is against Slavic culture, like, you know, gay marriage, like abortion, like feminism, uh, legalized homosexuality, all the other stuff. And, you know, many people are, you know, uplifting Betty White, even some, you know, Christians I know who I do believe are saved, but are just misguided, are lifting up Betty White and basically, you know, exalting her and saying, oh, she was, you know, so great, that kind of stuff. Um, she was, she followed a religion called Transcendalism. She followed a religion called, uh, I think it was called Transcendentalism or whatever. And basically the religion teaches the Luciferian uh, doctrine that man is inherently good and that basically there is no sin nature. And it's blatantly contrary to Romans chapter 3 verses, uh, I think it's 10 to 23, verses 10 to 23. And it basically teaches the Luciferian doctrine that man is inherently good, which is a lie from Satan, is a liar of the pit of hell. Uh, man is kind of not good without Jesus Christ. You need salvation through Jesus Christ. And that was something that Betty White sadly didn't have. And she is in hell right now. And again, I have no joy out of saying that. But that is the reality. My hair is really messed up right now. I just woke up. I've been having a long, I had a long night. But basically the point is, is that, you know, no Christian gets of any kind of prominence in Hollywood uh, unless you are just a fake, essentially. Because no no person, even just with so you can be an atheist and just hold socially conservative viewpoints and you're going to get booted out of Hollywood. Because in Hollywood, it's just accessible for just social liberal you know, progressive degeneracy. That's all that it is. And she did claim to be a Christian, but it was obviously not legit because she's so prominent in Hollywood. And the fact that she promoted, you know, homosexuality and, and legalized gay marriage, stuff that God's word says is an abomination to him. And stuff that me as a Slavic nationalist is against my culture too. So I can't support that on both those bases. But the fact that it's an abomination to God and that it's against Slavic culture, which is a whole other can of worms. But the bottom line is, is that you know, you shouldn't be supporting anybody of that kind of prominence in Hollywood because Hollywood is anti-God. Hollywood is a social liberal Illuminati Jesuit type of, uh, you know, f honeypot basically to pump out propaganda from hell uh, at the behest of the Jesuits and the Illuminati to basically pump in all kinds of satanic propaganda to indoctrinate, you know, the next generation of, of white kids, but just people in general into, you know, for example, witchcraft, into feminism, into pornography, into you know situation ethics, into you know uh, even bestiality with that Be Beauty and the Beast movie. You got abortion, uh, homosexuality, cross dressing, transgenderism, like you name it. It's promoted by Hollywood, even by you know kids programs like Disney. And you know she was that high up in Hollywood because she was a pawn and a servant of Lucifer. She was not a Christian, and again she is in hell right now. And there's no there's no joy or, or kind of I get, I get no joy out of saying that, but it is a sad truth. You know, she, again, she promoted things that God says is an, is an abomination to him. In Leviticus 20.13, Leviticus 18.22, and that God, or the Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost of God, said is against nature and is unnatural. In Romans chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. So, that's just the bottom line. If you're a Christian, or even just anyone who holds any kind of socially conservative, or, you know, for example, like me, a Slavic nationalist, you ought to not be supporting uh, Hollywood, because they're promoting all kinds of just disgusting social liberal degeneracy and garbage. That's simple. So, that's the thing, you know, you shouldn't be exalting these worldly Hollywood celebrities who, when they, when they die, a lot of them sadly go to hell. And again, if you're, if you're out there, you're not saved, because I'm an ex-atheist, by God's grace, I escaped atheism. And if you're not saved out there, there's still, you know, there's still a chance for you. So you don't have to end up like Betty White. You can still get saved. There's salvation available to anyone. You got John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And there is salvation. I'll post a gospel message in the uh, description. You don't, you, you don't have to end up like Betty White. That simple. So anyway, just my thoughts on the whole thing. It is sad and it is, again, I have no joy to saying that she's in hell right now, but that is the biblical and blunt and brutal truth about it. So anyway, because again, she, she promoted things that God says is an abomination. So anyway, uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren.
Goodbye. Thank you.